Well, howdy partners. I just thought I would show you our beautiful gift from Spirit. What? Oh my goddess. Our new couch. Okay. So can I just tell you guys about this couch for a second? I did a video yesterday. I don't know if they're going to have me post it. I was getting a, a little wincing and whining, but um, long story short, we have been looking for the right couch for a long time. I knew exactly what I wanted and what I wanted even used was going to be at least three or four hundred dollars, probably five. So long story short, every so often I will see what I wanted for free on Craigslist, but not always. They are very few and far between and I know because I look all the time. So. I woke up this morning and I just had this really good feeling because we were going to pick it up and I was like, oh my gosh, I feel like this is going to be like our dream couch. I just have a really good feeling about it. I'm like, I don't know how to explain it. Like I just know. And then I went to put on my music and I, you know, I put it on shuffle and one of the first songs that played was a Christmas song. Like I felt like it was spirit saying like Merry Christmas. Then I realized it was St. Patrick's Day. I'm a Kelly, the Warriors, the Warriors, Kelly, the Kelly clan. The, um, he's from the Fitzgeralds. And um, one of my beautiful, most blessed sisters, soul sisters, passed away on St. Patrick's Day many moons ago now. I don't even, I think it was seven. <clears throat> T was it six? I think it was seven years ago. And yeah, I think it was seven years ago. And everything's been going in cycles of seven on the life path, life path seven. Um, these will have to be my road confessionals. But long story short, I just felt like this blessing. And I mean, honestly, you guys, I don't know if you can see, like it's number one in really good shape. Number two, you can even take this off. This is goose, this is um, cotton and they're goose down. And she told me how to wash them and how to not ruin it. And I could tell she takes really good care of her things. I was like, oh my gosh, not to mention, she's a beautiful, magical, fairy witch and um and her husband is also a really powerful like they're just beautiful light workers and I just felt their energy right away and so she was so cute I never say anything about who I am um unless somebody asks and she goes so my husband said that your email I go do you want to know if I'm a medium and she's like yes and I said yes and she was like oh she's like I think I have gifts and I was like and on the way there I told Alder so there's something like um, at the screen. I'm like, is it on there? Um, I told Alder on the way there, I said, I have this weird feeling we're going to know them or something's going to happen. Either they're going to need my services or um, yours. You know, he's a mobile mechanic and he's also plant medicine, you know, healer for, he helps heal like the shadow and stuff. And so lo and behold, it was like all of the above and spirit had me wear my medicine bag today. I even showed her. She was so cute. She's like, what's in there? <laughs> I love people. It was just such a great experience, Karen and Jim. And I don't know if you'll ever see this, but hi and thank you. This is, I don't even want to know. I know it's pricey. I know that this was not a cheap couch and spirit bless every single bird that gave any part of their life so that we can have this comfortable couch and seriously spirit bless Karen and Jim with whatever they need, whenever they need it, whatever's in the greatest and highest good, we claim that for them. So it is. Blessed be the whole. And the same for you. I claim the same for you. Don't give up on your dreams, you guys. Everything's finally falling into place. You know, I've been bitching and complaining and moaning. I'm working at it. I'm getting better. Um, but we're almost there, and I'm getting excited. And I had this feeling that once we got a couch, I kept telling my girl, I feel like once we get a couch, it's going to be like, that's everything. And when we got the couch, I was like, oh my gosh. And then he came in the other day, and he's like, he's like, the bathroom's almost done. I was like, oh my gosh. So it's very exciting. We still have a lot of work to do. We still have to get water piped into the house. There's a lot of things we have to do, but we can at least, once the bathroom's done, we can at least get it cleaned up, do some painting and some minor repairs, and then hopefully we will move in. My goal is to move in before uh, Mercury goes into retrograde in April, but you know, it's always the th three weeks before and the three weeks after. So it's really nine weeks of just really being, you know, cognizant. Um, which is perfect because in real time, it's St. Patrick's Day, like I said, and which is actually an American holiday <laughs> for the for the Irish. But I am from the south side of Chicago, so I, God has blessed, 
bless the Irish. I can't do an accent, but it's well intended. I love my Irish kin, um, all of my kin from the UK. And do you want to say anything, Alder? Do you have any words of wisdom? No, not today. <laughs> He's busy driving. Um, so we are on our way to go shopping. And actually, I have to get off this video because I just realized he needs the um, GPS. So I just wanted to tell you, don't give up. Enjoy these last few days of winter. And soon we will be in spring. Or for our Southern Hemisphere family, you will be in fall. And either way, we're planting those seeds and, you know, putting things out there for a new astrological year as we tuck away Pisces. Um, Pisces is sticking around because Saturn is in Pisces, but um, but in terms of the Pisces season, it's almost over and Aries season will be here too, which is new beginnings and fire, which is action. So stay in this watery energy of reflection. Stay in this weekend of dreamy, fun stuff. Just stay in your head this weekend. Next week will come, but until then, enjoy today. I love you so much. Have a blessed day and I'll see you next time. Blessed be home.